Hi, everybody. Can you listen to me? Yes, miss. Okay, okay, perfect. Salud. Good evening, teacher. We hear you. Permítanme, permítanme, permítanme un momentito, permítanme. Okay, I'm here. I'm sorry. Estoy teniendo problemas con mi camarita. Um, creo que por el momento no me van a ver, pero vamos a continuar así. ¿Me escuchan? Yes, we hear you, teacher. Okay. So, how are you? How you been this um this weekend? Weekend. <laughs> yeah. What? Well, was relaxed. Really? Did you rest? Could you rest? Yeah, a lot. Rest a lot. <laughs> uh, I did it too. <laughs> I did it too. I rest a lot. I am like, um, this is like my my last um days for vacations, and I'm going to start the college again. So I'm trying to rest these days, and um, I did. I, I didn't I didn't do too much this weekend. Um I was only on my house with my family. I saw um Bridgerton. I, I I don't remember if I told you about Bridgerton, but it's a really cool series and I really love to watch it in English. Because it's the is the the um, I the British English. Es el inglés británico y me encanta cómo pronuncian oh, okay. las palabras. <laughs> yeah, yes. right. When there. you will, when you gonna begin the college? I think after the the first week of vacations in August. Ah. Oh. Yeah, we're going to. We start are almost. In... We are almost on vacation. Yeah, we're almost on vacations. Um, are you excited for the vacations? <laughs> we are waiting a lot for vacation. Yeah, me too. Um, I when I was a little, I used to I used to think that the first week of August was a celebration of my birthday <laughs> because I am from August and I I. I thought it was for me when I was a little. Yo pensaba que era para mí toda la fiesta que hacían en agosto. <laughs> when is, when is your birthday? Um, August 25. August 25. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Yeah. Excellent. So I used to think it was for me. And that was one of my innocent um, thoughts when I was little. <laughs> Eran como de mis... Mm -hmm. De esos pensamientos inocentes que tenía cuando estaba pequeña. Um, I don't know. I really love the, the, the vacations because I could do all the things that I usually can do in my free time. Um, because I don't have a lot of free time when I am at the college. But I really love the vacations. So I hope that you are excited for it. And we are about to... to um, to finish this um this model too um oh, okay this week yeah this week this is the last week don't you don't you forget this is the mm -hmm. um week number four and you are going to work in the section number five and the final exam this week so what about the the platform 
Um, is everything okay with you? I finished already. You finished, Vicente? Yeah. Oh my God, congratulations to you. So you are ready today. Thank you very much. Okay. And you know what? I, I received my certificate. How do you say? Certificado. Certif How do you say? Perdón? I re received my cert certificado. How do you say? Or, or the diploma? Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. Um, it was like um, an, an easy model for you? Or was it difficult? What? Um. Well, you know what? I I make a mistake when I send my document because um, in the last model, I wasn't in this uh, number three. Uh -huh. But I confused when I send the, uh, the documents and I repeat it. At so, the beginning. Um, yeah. So I, um, I send my document again to the next. And I, I, I would be in, in um, intermedio number one. Ah, oh, okay, okay. So you because, already finished all the, the platform? Yes. Like the final exam too? Right. Oh my God. Congratulations to you. I hope you that the rest much. of your classmates go to it too. Thank you very much. A pleasure. Espero que todos puedan terminarlo a tiempo. Don't forget it, que esta semana es la sección número 5, pero si pudieron ir adelantando, es mucho que mejor. Estas son las últimas cuatro clases de hoy al jueves del módulo y vamos a estar prácticamente cerrando con los últimos temas que se evalúan en el final exam también. Ok, so um, we are already going to start, but... Wait for me one second. Wait for me one okay. second. Okay. Okay, I'm here. So sorry. Okay. Um, yeah, Edgar. No, you yes, say I have a question. Uh, mm -hmm. After that, this model, what is the continue? I think it's the pre intermediate number four. No, 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 there is no number four. Alessandro. Sí, no me acuerdo cuál es el siguiente, pero. Cuando, cuando you not know, advanced, right? All uh, right, uh, intermedio uno. Intermediate one. Oh, okay. Intermediate one because uh, when I was uh, feeling the the. No les know, han pedido. Format, Ajá, no les the, han pedido llenar todavía como el el. Ah, y creo que les dan un link. No estoy muy segura de qué es lo que les dan para llenar. Mm -hmm. Para el siguiente nivel. Yeah, I send it. Ajá, y ahí ahí estaba que era intermedio uno. Right? Intermedio uno. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay. There's no so, four. Okay, pre, so that's... Pre intermedio number four, there are not... Okay, so that's the next. Este es el siguiente. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, thank you. A pleasure. <laughs> well, thank you to Vicente because he, uh, he, he knew. El sabía. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we're going to start with this. Les estoy presentando pantalla, pero me avisan cuando la puedan ver. We're going to... I already want to show you the topic. Okay. It's an easy topic. Yeah, we okay. can see. It. Topic, excuses. Excellent. No more excuses. <laughs> yeah, this is excuses. <laughs> Do you know what is excuses? Right. No more excuses to learn English. Yeah, okay, like that. That's a good example. No more excuses. When you're trying to, mm -hmm. um, I think it's when you, when you don't want to do anything or 
um or you want to dismiss anything and you um try to find uh an action or a little lie to um um Invent to tell... excuses yeah that's excuses of course it's like maybe it's not a complete lie but it's not a complete true it's like just excuses right because no es una mentira completa pero tampoco una verdad completa eso son las las excusas right son when uh, some student don't want to be in class yeah invent some excuses and yeah. they are sick <laughs> It happens a lot with the kids sometimes. When I was talking with kids, um, sometimes they had excuses to not get into the classes. And um, it's a little bit different with kids because um, like I, I am always um, like, um, like I, I, I don't know how, how to say that, but it's like I'm always uh, have to and to tell them parents what's going on in class, yeah? So they sometimes use some excuses and I, I saw like, mm, it doesn't seem like truly, but all of these, um, all of these, these things happens with kids. Y es como más complicado porque ellos tienen como mentiras, incluso a veces más inocentes. So, I'm always like, aha, okay, this is an excuse to not get into the class. So, that it's excuses. We're going to learn about it today and we're going to see another tense that are going to help you with these excuses too. So, first of all, we're going to do the reading. I'm going to stop sharing this. And we're going to go back to the book. Ay, me cuando lo puedan ver. Okay. <laughs> Ready. Ready. Okay, guys. So, like, like I was saying, um, this is a little conversation about making plans. Um, today we're going to learn about another tense. We're going to to, um, we're going to learn about excuses, of course, but we're going to practice it with the grammar focus that is going to be, um, to be going with continuous. Okay, it's like to be going con to be going to continuous. So it's como una mezcla entre el to be going que es futuro, y el present continuous, que es el que se utiliza para hablar sobre las cosas que estamos haciendo ahorita. So, we're going to read, uh, we're going to read, sorry, a little conversation about making plans. And for this, I need two volunteers to help me to read. Someone to be Lynn and someone to be Miguel. You can raise your hand. Okay, Vicente is going to be Lynn. And who wants to be Miguel? Raise your hand, guys. Who wants to be Miguel? Me, teacher. Aixia? Yes. Yeah, okay. So, Vicente is going to be Lim. Aixia is going to be Eagle. And you can uh, start right now. Go. Uh, teacher, uh, just a um, uh, favor. Could you please give a little zoom? Because yeah, of I course, of course, problem. of course. Yeah. Little more, please. Okay, that right, right. Okay. It's okay. Oh, okay. Complete. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Okay. Um, okay. Say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? It's low too, but I can. I am going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We call go then. Tomorrow sounds ta sound fine. I'm going to work until five. So let's go around six. 
Okay, after war, after war, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Okay. Excellent. Creo que hasta llegaba. Sí. Ay. Lo voy a hacer un poquito más atrás. Aquí. It's okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It is top right there. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, first of all, do you do you have any questions about the conversation? No, it's okay. It's okay. Everything is okay. No, teacher, what is the meaning after work? Ah, es, es después. Como después. más tarde. Uh -huh. Yeah, okay. es más tarde. <laughs> Así como um, now es ahorita, tomorrow mm -hmm. es mañana. Es como más tardecito, like otro rato, like after work. Uh -huh. And forward. Es hacia adelante. Uh, <laughs> uh -huh. Thank you. A pleasure. Okay. Um. Any other question? No. No, it's okay. Perfect. Okay, so you can uh, you can think about the, the tense right now because our, we are seeing the make it plans and we're going to have this um uh, this tense today. So I'm going to go back to the presentation. Voy a regresar a la presentación. Ay, perdónenme que no sé qué le pasa a mi compu hoy. Don't worry, teacher. It's Monday. Maybe she's tired. <ríe> Tal vez está cansada <ríe> la pobre computadora. Que hoy le cuesta furular un poquito. It's alright. Can you see it now? Yep. Okay, so this is the grammar focus for today. This is the future with present continuous and be going to. Okay, so present with uh, future, sorry, with present continuous. Futuro con presente continuo. Why do you think that we use this tense? ¿Para qué creen que se usa? Ideas? Maybe something that we are going to to do in the future. Yes. Uh huh. Okay, that was a good idea. Another one. Mm -hmm. Have you ever heard about the future with present continuous? Did you know that you could use it like that? Yeah, I used. You do, okay. Someone else? What do you think that is future with present continuous? Go ahead, guys. This is like a rainstorm. It's una term es, es, ay no. It's like an idea's rain. <laughs> I, I, I told you bad. My, my bad. Um, Idea's rain, una lluvia de ideas. So tell me, what do you think when I told you future with present continuous? ¿Qué se les ocurre? Tell me, don't be shy. When we are thinking on plans, future plans. Uh huh. Yeah, future activities. Okay. I see. Primero y después Edgar. Okay. Um, in my opinion, maybe future activities. Sorry, sorry. I I, I couldn't hear you. Could you repeat it? Uh, in my opinion, is maybe in uh, future activities. Ah, yeah, of course, future activities. Yes, okay. Thank you so much, Alexia. Um, Edgar? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I am agreeing with with my partner. Uh, but when you are going to use, we are going to is when you are completely sure the about something that you are going to do? Yeah, of course, because you are, you are using the future with to be going to, right? Excellent. That's that's it. Okay, so you are very close for this. 
tienen ya como los cimientos para el, para el tiempo. So, this is future with present continuous. El futuro con presente continuo se utiliza cuando hablamos de cosas que nosotros vamos a estar haciendo en el futuro, ¿ok? Que vamos a estar haciendo. ¿Sí? ¿Le suena, ¿Le suena ese tiempo en español? Yo voy a estar haciendo algo, ¿sí? Cuando ustedes dan excusas, por ejemplo, um, I don't know, tienen una cena, una cena, Mañana y ustedes no quieren ir because you feel bored, like you don't want to go there. No, no quieren ir ahí, ¿ok? You don't want to. Mm -hmm. You don't. You don't have. You don't want to go to the party, to this dinner. So you say, um, I'm sorry. I'm going to. I'm going to be working, um, tomorrow night, <laughs> and I, I, I I'm going to be. be I couldn't be there. I couldn't be there. Yeah, that's an excuse, right? Because I am talking about like something that it's a little liar because I don't want to go to the party. So I am talking about something that I am. Yo voy a estar haciendo. <laughs> Yo voy a estar haciendo. Mm -hmm. Voy a estar trabajando mañana. Right? Do you yeah, understand right. like? Maybe when, when I have my vacation, my next vacation, I'm going to be swimming in the pool. Okay, that's a good example. I'm going to be swimming in the pool. I'm going to be swimming in the pool because he is pretty sure that he is going to do that thing on the vacations, right? That's great, okay? Just like that, justo como eso. Por ejemplo, este ejemplo que nos acaba de dar Edgar de las vacaciones, algo que él va a estar haciendo, nadando. Yo voy a estar nadando, right? Ya se perfiló el solito que va a estar nadando toda la semana, dice. So... <laughs> That's an action with future with present continuous. Es una acción que vamos a estar haciendo, okay? That we are going to doing later. Yeah, and later can be a far um, future or a near future, right? Puede ser un, como um, algo que voy a estar haciendo en cinco minutos. Por ejemplo, that's a near future, un futuro cercano, algo que ya va a pasar. O algo que todavía le falta, por ejemplo, un año or something like that. Yeah, so you can use it with this. The structure is with P, okay? P going to and the verb in continuous. Justo así como lo acaba de hacer Edgar y como lo hizo Vicente, que nos dieron dos, dos ejemplos, just like that. Vamos a utilizar el to be going y el verbo en vez de ir en presente simple, como en el to be going um, normalito, normalito, digamos así, el, el que ustedes se podían antes, este va a ir acompañado de un verbo con ing. Going to doing. Going to waiting. Going to eating. Going to... Um, working. Working. Going to driving. Yeah? Do you understand what I am talking yeah. about? Yes. yes, we understand you. Yeah. Okay. So, I would like to have a volunteer to help me to read the sentences. Y les vamos a ir haciendo como lineal, así. Present with continuous, luego to be going to, luego time expression. Who wants to help me to read this? Vicente, okay, help me. Okay, the first one. What are you doing tonight? I'm going to a soccer match. What is she going to do tomorrow? She's going to work until five. Okay, the, the other one. Are you doing anything tomorrow? No, I'm not. Are they going to go bowling? Yes, they are. And the last one, time expression. Tonight, tomorrow, on Friday, this weekend, next week okay this is time expressions that you can use okay so we're going to concentrate it with be going to plus verb okay vamos a concentrarnos en esta parte cuando hablamos el, el, del futuro siempre vamos a utilizar el going to y luego el verbo va a ir en su eh, y luego el verbo va a ir perdón el, en su forma base les iba a decir en presente continuo like um on vacations for example that is a future I am going to be 
Um, taking the sun, taking the sun, of course. I'm going to be sleeping all the week. Sleeping all the week. Voy a estar durmiendo toda la semana. I'm going to be painting the most of the days of that week. Voy a estar pintando la mayoría de los días de esa semana. Um, my mom is going to... Um, it's going to be driving <laughs> all the entire week. I don't know. Um, se me acabaron los ejemplos con el, con, con el, con el escenario, but that was car. good. <laughs> okay, so did you get it? I'm going to fix in my car. You are going to be fixing. Okay, remember, we're going to do it with this. Okay, be going to. Okay, so do you have any questions? Not right no, now. No, we don't have. Okay, so. Permítanme. Ay, se trabó otra vez. Se trabó la pantalla. Permítanme, chicos. Okay. Se me traba la pantalla, perdón. No sé qué le pasa hoy a mi computer. Don't worry, teacher. Thank Your you. computer is still on weekend. Yeah. No le encendí todo el fin de semana. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe. Maybe for that. Maybe that's the reason why she doesn't want to work. It's okay, okay. we can see it. Again, again. Okay. So we're going to do, uh, we're going to see some making excuses. Like, uh, we're going to see some common excuses for not accepting an invitation. Um, in the past, we saw um, many uh, modal verbs, if you remember, like uh, can, should, could, may, right? So we were talking about that modal verbs and we were talking about like how to do an invitation, a suggestion, um, an advice, a tip, how to tip someone. And today we're going to see how to make in excuses and we get, I'm sorry, and we can use um, sometimes like the modal verbs to, to, to do the excuses. Not always, but sometimes you can use it. Yeah, because it's about your intentions. So we're going to read the some common excuses for not accepting an invitations, and we're going to uh we're going to see if you ever use one of these ones. Okay, so alguien me quisiera ayudar a leer la parte de making excuses. Alguien que que nunca me ayuda a leer, sí. Los demás, hay varios a quienes no les conozco la voz. Ok, José Oscar. Mi teacher. Ah, vamos a empezar con José Oscar por el momento. Ok, okay. read this one. Some common excuses for not accepting an invitation. These ones. Making excuses. I am sorry. I'm sorry. I wash my hair that night. Mm -hmm. Some common excuses for not saying, accept, accepting. Accepting? An invitation. I can. My parents are vis visiting from out, out of town. I am busy that that night. I am sorry. I can't find a baby sister. I am not feeling well. I have to work. I just got a new happy happy Mm -hmm. Guys, se le cortó la. Ah, ay, pensé que era yo, pensé que a mí no se me. Que, ay, ah, pensé que era mi internet. A José Oscar, quizás le pasó algo a su, a su micrófono y no le escucho. Maybe his connection are trouble. Yeah. Okay. I just need someone else to help me to read from this. Desde aquí. Um, me, teacher. 
Aixia. Okay, please help me to read from this. Okay. I just got a new puppy. I had to it's stay cute. home with 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 it. Mm -hmm. I have class the night. My favorite TV show is on that night. I have to get up early the next morning. Excellent. You did it so great. Okay. So this is some excuses. Okay. So I need to 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 ask to you, have you ever heard about these excuses? Have you ever used any of this? ¿Alguna vez han oído y o han usado una de estas excusas? Do you want to, 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 to talk to me about it? Always. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Like, you are a little liars, right? Pequeños mentirosos. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, what did you use, Akisia? Um, I am not feeling well. <laughs> I am not feeling well. It's my okay. favorite. <laughs> it's your favorite one. <laughs> yeah, I I can say that I'm um I agree. I agree. <laughs> um just not feeling well is one of my favorite excuses because no one asks you questions when you say you are not feeling well. Yeah. <laughs> no one talks to you about it unless they are like um like i don't know many interested in you they can ask some questions about it but the most people when you say i'm not feeling well they say like oh my god i'm so sorry i hope you get better soon and not more right la mayoría no te hace preguntas cuando uno les dice que no se siente bien so i i do i do that's my favorite one too as i yeah and um, what else of you? ¿Alguien ha utilizado alguna otra? ¿Me quiere contar? The most important is not there. What is, is the most important? Is I have no money. I have no money, yeah. But I, I think that that is not an excuse. That it's true. <laughs> a completely true. It's a real. <laughs> it's a real situation. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think, I don't know, guys. The real but... When I when it's I say really... I have no money, I don't have money. <laughs> it's true with me at least. <laughs> Por okay. lo menos yo cuando digo que no tengo dinero es porque no tengo dinero. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Jose Oscar, yes. Uh, I have to work. Uh, I have. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, sorry. No sé si le escuché lo último. The other one is my car doesn't have gas. Yeah. Um. Well, I can say that that can be true too. <laughs> <laughs> I sometimes I take. Well, I told you that I prefer to take the bus because I have no enough money to, um, buy the gas. <laughs> so, uh, my mom paid for it, and um, I tried. To use it like in emergencies or if i don't want to talk oh, sorry if I, if I don't want to to walk um for any place or something like that or maybe i am so tired to 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 walk or something um i i prefer to use my car but then it always is a true for me but it can be a lie for you it can be <laughs> an excuse of course okay someone else i'm gonna mask Mm -hmm. Cuéntenme, guys, ¿qué excusas han utilizado para zafarse de clases, del trabajo? I have English classes at night. Okay, but that's it true. Did you ever <laughs> use it as a lie? Of course. I'm going to be busy. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> too honest. Oh, my God. Too honest. Right. Okay. Because I... I want to lose my class. Yeah. I'm saying to you, like you are very, you are so honest, right? <laughs> it's not like that's a lie. Yeah. Okay. Um, that's a uh, true for me too because I I already have classes and I I can miss a class like you uh, because I am the teacher, right? <laughs> right of course. <laughs> yeah. 
course, I need to be there. I need to be your <laughs> okay, excellent. Do you have any other um any other excuses? Tienen alguna otra excusa por ahí? Que se For me example, haya... when someone invited you to eat something and you don't have money and you say and I don't I don't have hungry. Oh yeah, <laughs> I am not hungry. I am not. I'm not hungry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or you can say I am not starving. Como no me estoy muriendo de hambre, right? Like I'm not starving. Um, I don't yeah. have time. You can say I I don't have time. Yeah, when you um when you know you don't have enough money and like the the economy is pretty bad right now and um uh, you are trying to to save your money to save the 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 last dollars that you have in your in your wallet of course so you right. say hey i don't have time i or, don't have time sorry <laughs> yeah or I, I am not hungry hey, you move the fingers i yeah, don't have or, time um I, I could say my mom is waiting for me to to eat that can that can work too <laughs> mm -hmm. if you if you say that you have to do something with your family no one says nothing <laughs> yes. es, es una buena excusa también cuando dicen que tienen que hacer algo con su familia that's, an, that's not an well that is an excuse but you can use it as well because um no one is gonna ask questions when you say like um, I have a, a a dinner with my family yeah and it's a personal thing of course la, la, la vieja confiable it's a personal thing like um como por algo personal no voy a poder venir a clases for example like you don't want to go to class but you don't want to tell the teacher that you don't want to so you use an excuse right <laughs> and that's it the way that you use excuses okay do you have any other excuses for not to accepting an invitation there are a lot of excuses but that's okay. <laughs> okay. Maybe some one of you have any others. Yo sé que todos han metido, han hecho excuses más de una vez. Yeah? Right. So tell me, what else did you say to not, not accepting an invitation? For example, we can say, I'm tired. I can't because I work hard. Yeah, I'm tired. That's that's pretty pretty good one. <laughs> I'm tired, and it's usually a true for me at least. Oh my god, <laughs> uh, that's why I'm you say it's you cute, say. right? <laughs> Okay, yeah, that's why you say excuses at least because it's like a part of true, part of lies. Maybe you are really, uh, you really feel tired, but it's not the the first, um, uh, the first thing that you think of when you don't want to accept that invitation. But you are thinking about it, and you say, um, it's too complicated to explain, so I'm going to say I am not feel well. Or I feel tired right now. I, I just want to go home and take a rest and sleep and all of these excuses, right? So that's yeah. a good way to making excuses. Okay. So do you have any questions about the grammar focus or excuses? It's okay. It's okay. Okay. Guys, we're going to have an... Speaking, speaking activity. Yes. Yeah. We're going to have a speaking activity about making excuses. Okay. You are going to do a little conversation of this exercise. Vamos a hacer un pequeño, una pequeña conversación de este ejercicio. Lo que vamos a hacer es que ustedes van a hacer un role play. Los role plays son una conversación como las que leemos. ¿Sí? Así de que alguien habla y le pregunta por algo y usted le contesta y así. So we're going to do it with mm -hmm. an invitations and excuses, ¿ok? Va a poner un escenario en el que alguien, uno de ustedes, va a estar invitando a la otra persona a salir, a lo que sea. A, si quiere ir a la playa, si quiere ir al cine, si quiere ir no sé qué. Y que le ponga al menos tres excusas distintas, right Hasta que ya se dé por vencido. So that's the uh, speaking activity and it's a group activity today. Do you have any questions about it? 
No, it's okay. <clears throat> it's okay. Okay, so I'm going to create breakup rooms. Y ustedes van a elegir el tema y así. Okay, y tienen que seleccionar a dos personas para que lo, lo lean. Okay, así que tomen lista todos para que las personas que sean seleccionadas me lean la conversación y yo pueda escuchar las excusas, right? So try to be creative. Pueden ser como, por ejemplo, una mamá y su hija o un jefe, alguien rechazando la invitación a un jefe, por ejemplo. I don't know, something like that. You can be creative with this. Okay, pueden inventarse todo un escenario. So you can go to the breakup rooms, guys. Get in. I'm going to see you in a minute. Okay. Okay, get into guys, please.
Hey, can you listen to me? Yes. Of course. Okay. Thank you. So I vi que había unas personitas con problemas del internet. Don't worry. No, no pasa nada. So who wants to uh well and did you end the, the conversation? Who wants to share it? Eh, nosotros, teacher. Okay. Yeah, tell me. Um, estuvo Pat Carla Patricia, la otra chica Patricia y Giovanni. Uh -huh. Y vamos a hacer los ejercicios de Carla Patricia y yo. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. What are you doing tomorrow? I have no plan. Would you like to go to the cinema tomorrow at night? No, I can't. I have class. Okay. English class. English class. Okay. <laughs> what are you doing next week on the vacation? I don't have vacation because I work every day. Oh my God. <laughs> yes. What do you do on Saturday, Saturday at night? Would do you like play soccer? I can because I have get up early the next morning to go visit sure. Okay. She's a liar. She's a liar. She's a liar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she, she very lies. <laughs> yeah, she Too really much. doesn't want to go. <laughs> Too much excuses. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> was good. Was good. Thank you so much, guys. You did it so great. Okay. And from the room number one, who wants to to tell us? The Edgar Edwin Jose Vicente. Okay, we uh, we were working with uh, Jose Oscar, Edgar, and me. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Jose, Jose, Jose Oscar has uh, some problem with internet. I don't know if he's ready to read or, or Ed, Edgar, I don't know. Yeah. Who wants to, to do it with... With me with, with uh, another, but I don't know. Okay, I'm going to try. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Okay. okay, I'm going to begin. <clears throat> okay. Hello. What, are you, Hello. what are you doing to do tomorrow at night? I'm not sure why. Uh, uh, let's go to see a soccer match. Uh, I'm sorry, my friend. I can't because I'm going to have dinner with my family. Hmm. Okay. What about next day? Yeah. Other excuses? Uh, no, not his excuses. It's English true class. because you I'm going to. Class, I no, I, I'm going. <laughs> I'm going to have a Chinese class. Yeah, oh it's my, my new objective. Chinese class. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, good. That's all, teacher. That's it. Okay, amazing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Chinese that's a class. good liar. That's a good liar. Qué buenos mentirosos. Ah, eso sí se los hizo rápido, ¿verdad? <laughs> okay, that mm. was good. Applause to you. You did it so great. You are fine. Okay, thank you so much. Creo que el topic está bastante bien por el momento. Do you have any questions? Or can What's we finish so for today? No. It's fine. No more questions. It's fine. Okay, I'm going to see you tomorrow in class. Bye. Bye. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Thank Bye. you. Bye. 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 Bye